The Forum of German-Speaking Namibians say they are able to do more than just run businesses and pay taxes. The group, which currently comprise of 122 members countrywide, aims to become an integral part of Namibian society. We are very exposed in the sense that for all the statistics from a material well-being, from a wealth point of view, Germans seem to end up always on top of the list. So we've got a special responsibility. Our mandate, as we see it, is also to sensitize our German-speaking fellow Namibians on not just ignoring certain topics, but also facing reality in the interest of social justice and peace to, con to continue in Namibia. So you can imagine for yourself we will not be everybody's favorite necessarily in the German-speaking community. The president commended the forum for wanting to promote peaceful integration. But I'm saying you must be patriotic. This is your country. It's the only place you can call home. And if we are there for in different ways, try and do it. You and I try and do it. Because we can call ourselves Germans, Damaras, what? But we must first be Namibians and then Damaras. But if it is the other way around, then it's tribalism. Then it will be racism. So to be careful about that. Otherwise, you came to us, to present yourself. If we see some racism in your organization, we'll tell you, hey, what's happening here? The forum plans to use its influence to facilitate investment in the country in areas of fresh produce and e-commerce, amongst others. The United Entrepreneurs Association of Namibia, a group of local business people, hit hard not only by the prevailing pandemic, but as far back as the global economic meltdown of 2015. Their courtesy call revolves around engaging government as a potential stakeholder that is able to rescue local businesses in an effort to prevent further losses. At the moment, the entrepreneurs say their assets are being repossessed and banks have no mercy, suggesting the president call a state of emergency on the economy. It's a call for an open charter on the banking and the bankers to review the current Banking Institutions Act. My colleague also said about that. Where we are currently now, we are in a state of emergency because these laws were made at a time where we did not have a pandemic. And there is a need for economic recovery crisis. My colleagues also mentioned um, this point because we as a country cannot sit and see all businesses closing. The interventions that you have put in place, uh, Comrade President, are commendable, but they need to yield results. Results can only be achieved if there is an engagement process with the business community. Many of the aspects that you have brought to the fore are the aspects that can be discussed further. Not at this platform, not at the level of His Excellency, but at the sectoral level. Most of them, they, they fall within the ambit of the Ministry of Finance and, of course, in, within the ambit of our ministry. And, and like it was said, going forward, all of us just need to converge and have a discussion. So we are really speaking to the banks, to the, fa to the commercial and the development funding institution to see how they can relax some of these re relief initiatives to ensure that they can accommodate your unique circumstances. I want to request you to reach me directly on a case-by-case -case basis to see how we can try to assist. We have been able to assist some, but we appreciate the magnitude of the challenge. Francis Shahama, NBC News, State House.